Hey there, Teresa. Hello, Matt. As you were just reporting with the state emergency ending, I wish I had some positive news, but according to Feeding San Diego, there's a rise in food insecurity. Now, at the beginning of the pandemic, Congress passed the Families First COVID Response Act, and funds came out of there and went towards the SNAP benefits, which is called CalFresh in California, and people were getting an extra 95 to $200 a month. And that was a huge help for so many families. Well, starting tomorrow, all of that ends. That means more people are gonna need the help of food pantries, just like Feeding San Diego. The economic crisis that um, quickly followed the pandemic has created widespread food insecurity and it's still really pervasive. The state of emergency is now over. The emergency CalFresh allotment that was added to people who are enrolled in CalFresh, which is SNAP federally, um, it, that's going away. So the average family in San Diego is going to lose $200 a month in benefits that's helping them feed their family. Allie Colburn, Director of Development of Feeding San Diego, says inflation is still here. The cost of groceries making it challenging for many San Diegans to put food on the table. Feeding San Diego reporting that nearly 400,000 individuals are currently enrolled in CalFresh in San Diego County. There's over 230,000 families in San Diego who are going to experience this, um, that are enrolled in CalFresh that are going to experience this loss and benefits. Um, we don't really know exactly how it's going to impact our, our organization and our and our distributions. But um, when we look at some other states and other areas, when these um, emergency allotments ended, their distributions grew, you know, exponentially. Many people are still recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic. Whether it was job loss, change in income or living situation, unexpected expenses. Places like Feeding San Diego and our partners are very likely going to see an increase increase in the people coming to us for help. We really do need the support of the community. Um, Feeding San Diego relies on the support of uh, community members, donors, volunteers to make this happen for people, and we're going to need their help more than ever. Matt and Logan, isn't that number alarming? Nearly 400,000 people in San Diego County will be losing those benefits. According to Feeding San Diego, they say they need your help. They're also looking for volunteers to help with food packaging. And of course, they would really appreciate donations as well. That information will be at feedingsandiego.org. We'll have more coming up at five. An issue that so many are facing right now in our community. Teresa, of course, will put that information up on the website as well. Thanks so much.